my name is Heather Levashek and I am the Assistant Director of the Gardendale Chamber of Commerce. I first want to welcome you to the Chamber and tell you how excited we are to have you here. One of my favorite things is welcoming new members. The more members we have, obviously the more money we have, but the more we're able to do for our Chamber and our community. And so we appreciate you being here and we are so excited to have you. Before I jump into some of the benefits of the Chamber membership, I wanted to tell you a little about my history with the Chamber. So I do not live in the Gardenville area, I live up in Kimberly. And a few years ago, I was working with a company and I was looking for ways to get plugged into different groups to build my network of resources. Um, but we didn't have a Chamber where I was and I didn't think I qualified for the Gardenville Chamber because I didn't live here. It wasn't until bumping into a Chamber board member that they said, no, you don't have to live in the Gardenville area or even have your business in the Gardenville area to be a member. So I quickly joined the chamber and I can honestly say I've never felt so welcome and wanted in an organization as I have the Gardendale Chamber of Commerce. They welcomed me with open arms. I made such great connections. I felt like I had a good support group of people that were um, almost my cheerleaders and had my back. I'm a public speaker as well. And so they afforded me numerous opportunities and referrals um, when I joined the Chamber of Commerce. So I felt so welcome. Um, at the end of my first year of membership, I was chosen as the new member of the year. And then shortly after that, I was um, asked to serve on the board of directors of the Chamber of Commerce. I jokingly say that I am probably the shortest tenured board member ever because I only served for about two months before COVID hit and then a few more months and they hired me as assistant director. So I only actually got to attend about two board meetings. But um, I will not bore you with the details of what led to this job, but I can honestly say I have never worked so much hard or had so much fun doing it as I do in this job. I love everything about chamber life. I love that my job is to build you guys up, to bring in business for you, to promote your businesses. I've always dreamed of working somewhat in the marketing arena, and I get to do all of that at the Chamber of Commerce. So that's just a little about my history with the Chamber. So as a new member, I know you probably got a lot of questions like, what do I do? How do I get involved? Where do I meet people? So I wanted to do this little video to kind of go over some of that with you. One of the best ways to get involved and then the no is one, make sure you're on our mailing list. When you send in your application, I automatically added you to the mailing list. If there are other people you would like on the mailing list, you could add as many as you want. You don't have to be a member to be on the mailing list. So I'm going to put our email address right down here. You can just shoot me an email and let me know who you'd like to add. Make sure you're following us on social media. We have two Facebook pages. One is the Gardendale Chamber of Commerce page, and the other is the My Gardendale page. My Gardendale is more of a community page. Um, you must be a chamber member so for us to advertise on it, but we do also advertise other community events like ball games and yard sales and things of that nature. Um, the My Gardendale page and the My Gardendale website are very event driven. If you wanna know what's happening in Gardendale, go to mygardendale.com and the first thing you're gonna see is our event page. If you have an event happening that you want us to advertise, at the very top of the event page is a button you can click and submit us your event and we'll add it to the page for you. So you need to make sure you're plugged into those two things. One of the best ways you can meet people is coming to our chamber luncheons. So our luncheons, we meet once a month on the second Thursday of each month. We don't meet in June, July, or August. In June, we actually join with the Fultonville Chamber of Commerce, but we do not meet in July and August. I would highly recommend coming to chamber luncheons. They are catered by a chamber member each month. They're $12. We always have a speaker from topics on building your network to net, um, uh, public speaking to um, social media. We've had some great, great speakers this year. So I highly recommend coming to those. Not only that, you get to interact and meet other chamber members. At your first board meeting, after you pay your dues, we'll be recognizing you as well. So it's a, a great opportunity for people to put a face with a name. Another great thing to get involved in is a ribbon cutting. If you are a new business or if you are moving locations, we would love to schedule a ribbon cutting for you. We will come out as a chamber, some of our department heads, our mayor will come out and we'll do a ribbon cutting for you. And that's something that we will promote on our social media as well. But I highly recommend attending ribbon cuttings. I can't tell you how many deals have happened at ribbon cuttings. I've been able to connect different people. I was at one ribbon cutting and the guy was like, hey, do you know where I can get flyers? 
and the owner of the UPS store in Gardner was right there and I was like, I absolutely do. They're actually running a sale right now and I was able to give him her name and a coupon code to go order his flyers that day. So a lot of business happens at these ribbon cuttings. A lot of things people don't realize about Chamber Life is yes, we are businesses. Yes, you're in it to make money and you're looking for that customer base. But a lot of sales that we have in our area are business to business sales. So it's at those ribbon cuttings and those luncheons where those relationships are gonna be built and those business to business sales are gonna happen. So I highly recommend coming to those. We also have an ambassador program if that's something you're interested in getting involved in. Our ambassadors is a very low commitment. Basically, when we need help, when we need volunteers, we reach out to our ambassadors. If it's setting up for a chamber lunching, passing out flyers, stuffing goodie bags, I just reach out to the ambassadors and say, hey, who's available at this date and this time? And if you're available, great. If you're not, wait till the next month. There's very little pressure there. If that's something you're interested in, again, just shoot me an email and I'll be glad to add you to that list. Also, we do weekly newsletters. They go out usually on Thursday, unless I've had a crazy busy week and every now and then it's Friday. But we have weekly newsletters and then those newsletters, you have any information about upcoming luncheons, upcoming ribbon cuttings. If you have information you would like included in the newsletter, shoot that over to us and we'll include it as well. I try as best I can to monitor your business Facebook pages and share information. However, there's about 240 of y'all and one of me. So if you have a particular event or sale going on, please reach out to me and say, hey, would you mind sharing this? And I will be glad to do it. So again, welcome to the chamber. My name is Heather. If you have any questions, please email me, please call me. You'll see me riding around town a lot on my little yellow bike named Gardenia. So please feel free to wave, flag me down. Anything we can do for you at the chamber, we are glad to do. Because like I said, my, the, my favorite part of this job is that my whole job is just to build you guys up and to let the community know about how awesome our members are. So we are so glad to have you as a part of our chamber and I look forward to getting to know you better. Have an awesome day.